Hello, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Friday evening, early evening out here. This is the Earthmaster uh, jumping in here, 5.15 p.m. California time with a quick update on a large earthquake striking out in the South Sandwich Trench here just within the last uh, oh, half hour or so. Pretty decent earthquake, six-pointer. Uh, that is a legit earthquake. You can see it showing up there as far as the S waves from that quake on the Chile station which sits over here. So uh, that is no doubt a legit earthquake. I look for signs of uh, large earthquakes there on the graphs and uh, this one obviously ringing true. Northern edge of the subduction zone. This is the South Sandwich Trench here, the oceanic crust. Uh, you can see there on that trench there on this map, the oceanic crust map. This is the area down here actually is where they had the eight pointer back in 2021. I think it was 8.1. But uh, yeah, we still get earthquake activity down there, even though uh, the large earthquake activity is, um, you know, I don't think we're going to see an eight pointer anytime soon there, but uh, occasional sixes and fives pop up here in this area. So watch that. Uh, it's obviously the largest earthquake so far today. Uh, and just a real quick recap on that four pointer. Uh, I did email the USGS asking them to put out a little public uh, information statement if they could, because a lot of people thinking uh, that that was a legit earthquake. I did put out a uh, a uh, video here previous to this one how that was not in a legit earthquake. It, it never happened. There was no earthquake down there. It's not a cover up. It's not a uh, uh, it's not anything other than a error report. So the USGS needs to uh, just put out a little informational statement on that to calm. Uh, the nerves out there, but I was looking at all the seismograph stations there, um, and there's just you know there's no sign of any four pointer, no three pointer. Um, that one's offline, it looks like, but you can go back and check a number of these seismograph stations here in, in Southern California that are around that supposed 4.6, and um, you know for the most part. Uh, you know, a, a four-pointer, even a three-pointer, even a two-pointer would show up here on some of these seismograph stations here nearby. And they, they, there's nothing. There's nothing. I think I lost 20 subscribers here on my last video because I'm, uh, uh, you know, sticking to the facts here. There was no earthquake. There's not a cover-up. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, <laughs> I'm just here to pass the information along. And my studies um, and anyone with, a, you know, a little common sense here in terms of reading the seismograph stations there would see that that was not an earthquake this morning that 4.6 was not an earthquake i still have it up here on the map just because i haven't refreshed this but and supposedly there's like a few people that felt it out there but you know i i don't think it was the earthquake they were feeling to be honest there, there, there was no 4.6 there was no 3.6 there was no 2.6 in the area so we'll wait and see if the usgs puts out a little notification on it uh, but for now, 6.0 earthquake down there into the South Sandwich Trench. The largest earthquake here so far in the last 24 hours. All right, I'm going to jump off here, folks. Um, congratulations there to the member winner, uh, Devon Miller, I think, if I remember that name correctly. Uh, it's something we do every month on the 15th or the 14th, sometimes the 16th. Uh, we'll give away some prizes there to the members, so... Congratulations there. Um, wow, looks like Im almost immediately following that 6.0, there was a 4.9 back over here across the Indonesia Islands area. Probably not associated with it, but, you know, if you think about it here, the Earth is kind of like a... a uh, there's plates all over, right? And you shuffle around or add strain across one area. That can ultimately apply pressure and maybe strain on any other areas out here that it could be thousands of miles away we see it quite often uh, on the maps here but i don't think that uh the six pointer had anything to do with this but you never know you know it's all connected it's not just by chance here you, you move around one piece of the puzzle guess what uh that affects the other areas of the puzzle um dramatically all right we'll see you guys later